and I'm back. Hey, like I said last week, I'm filming these back to back um, just to give myself a, a little leeway and a little bit of time off on doing too much filming, recording, and editing. But uh, we too here, we're gonna talk about the Taximantis. probably seen our walkthrough video so I'm, I'm not really gonna touch base too much on the inside but I did want to touch base with some of the stuff on the outside so there's been a lot of talk on the taxa mantis forums of you know axles and weight and overland versus non overland so I figured I would just give you my information things that I've learned about the taxa mantis um, from owning one for the last it's about a year now so and <laughs> in traveling in it and living out of it full-time for almost that same amount of time so let's dive in we have a 2021 Taximantis and it's the standard model the 4.1 non overland and we bought this in the spring of 2022 brand new from the dealer and a few things that we've added since then. Uh, like I mentioned last week, we run, we run heavy. I'm, I'm very conscious of weights and I do bring the Jeep and the trailer to the cat scale and weigh everything to make sure that it is safe traveling full time with the family. It's, it's the greatest thing to do. It's very cheap. You, you got an app on your phone. You can just download it for the cat scales. You don't even have to get out of your vehicle. Very simple process to weigh your Jeep, or <laughs> I say Jeep, but to weigh your vehicle and your trailer. And that goes across the board for anybody. Most of you on your daily commuting or traveling, you see the cat scales, you see the uh, weigh stations, and you never have to go there because you're not commercial drivers. So. But it's very important and we'll just basically leave it at that pay attention to your weights so uh, with that in us running pretty high uh, one of the things that we added on was a weight distribution hitch and because we have the standard version mantis and that's kind of one of the main reasons that I really wanted that was to get the standard hitch to have this option because at first we didn't do it but as we kind of configured everything to travel full time in this small setup, you know, we hit our weight limits pretty easy, pretty quick. And this made a huge difference. So we went with Anderson's model. And the reason I went with that for Taxa is the location of their water tank is behind the rear axle. So there's a lot of times we have the water tank full traveling half full or completely empty because we're going to be in a very public space and I don't have to worry about water anywhere we go. So with the Anderson hitch, it's adjustable. I'll throw some links just like I, I, I did last week with everything with the Jeep. We installed that, it's been great. It actually allows you to have some adjustments so it's not just a set bar that you flip up and that's what you get I can tension a little more I can take off a little bit depending on how our weight is distributed in the trailer uh, next thing that we did again we're riding heavy and the standard mantis comes with our load range C tires so we upgraded to load range e tires i did not want to worry about it we had little to no miles on our trailer before we hit the road around the country but i feel more comfortable having a, a heavy heavy duty tire on the trailer so that we don't have a blowout and you know i very well could have been fine with the factory tires but 
just a peace of mind that I didn't have to worry about. So another thing that we added in pair with that is a tire pressure monitor system. To be honest with you, you can get one off Amazon. I think any of them are reasonably priced and do a good job. And you can get any model, uh, whether it's specified for a trailer or not, because you just hook up the two sensors, you put the monitor up front, and you can pay attention to just the two tire sensors that you have on. So that's kept us kept us good, no breakdowns, no problems in over 12,000 miles of travel across the country. And let's see, next thing on my list here is our rear rack. So a lot of the Mantis community has rooftop tents on the back and for our initial trip, we went with the rack. And the reason we went with that is we have an inflatable two-person kayak and an inflatable paddleboard that I carry, which is quite funny because the times that we were able to potentially use it, it was actually freezing cold in Florida and we did not want to get on the water. So ironically, we carried it all around the country and we didn't get it back out until we popped back into Michigan and it was 80 degrees here, which is pretty funny. But we carry that. We wanted to be able to have that option with us when we were on the road. In the future, we might be doing something different. We'll talk about that in a minute here. But uh, another thing I carry up there, and you've probably seen it maybe in some of the videos, is I have this water tank for working out, and it straps right on the side of there, which is super convenient. And that's also a very lightweight option for me to still lift. So. I can, I can get to the gym quite a bit around the country, but when I can't and we're, you know, it's during the middle of the week and Christina's working, she's in the Jeep, we're doing homeschool, it's nice to have that option and to have a place to be able to store it. So I actually ran into, on our way out of Michigan, first initial trip, ran into a, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say a friend, David, on uh, Facebook, and we met up. He had installed, I think he's the first one to install the um, 270 awning on his Mantis. And we were kind of pinballing things back and forth on, I was thinking about doing a 180, he was talking about doing the 270. And his trailer turned out awesome. I love it. And I'm kind of glad that I didn't dive into it right off the bat. With us being full time, as you can see, I'm sitting in our, our new Gazelle uh, gazebo here. I think this was the better option for us. ARB makes some attachments to the factory awning that comes on the uh, 2021 Mantis, the 4.1. And it's sunshades and wind blocks. And you can actually get it so that they angle off and they, they cover and surround the whole thing. And it's a lot less money than buying a completely new awning. And I think I'm gonna end up going that route paired with the Gazelle tent. Right now, as you can see in the pan around video, we are attached right off the awning. We're in Michigan, it's rainy, and that's the main reason why we have this here. Um, get a lot of rain in Michigan on and off, especially in the spring. And it's, the space is phenomenal. We get more space than what we would if I went with a 270 or a 180 with walls. The plus side too is if I don't want to carry this around the country with us, I can just keep it in storage in Michigan and we can, when we get back in here, I can grab it. And I see that being a primary use and it keeps the weight cut down while we're traveling. You know, that's unfortunately something we have to deal with. If you had a bigger truck, bigger trailer, I think probably anybody would get to that point if you're doing it full time. You're probably going to max out or close to max out what you have. Now, before I go into like future upgrades that we're thinking about doing in season three, which you guys will all see, um, I, I wanted to touch base on the Taximantis axle. And this is just some, some information of things that I've, I've found uh, people that I've spoke with so my trailer the 2021 and I think some of the 2022's the non-overland came with Lippard components axles on. and 
And I know there's been some issues uh, with some people I've actually discussed uh, with some, some people on Facebook um, about the axles. And we have not had any problems with ours. I haven't had any irregular tire wear. It hasn't been bent. And like I said, we're carrying at max capacity. So the axle is rated for 4,000 pounds. That's what it says on the sticker. I've physically spoken with Lippert and technically they tell you it's rated for 4,400 pounds. It's not on the sticker and I hope I don't catch some flack for throwing this video out there, but I did talk to tech support. It is a 3,500 pound axle that is built up to a 4,400 pound axle, but they put a sticker on for a 4,000 pound rating. So keep that in mind. I know the newer trailers have gone with the Dexter axle. Uh, I come from Mechanic World, the shop that I used to run. We did a lot of suspension work. We dealt with a lot of axle stuff. Dexter axles are awesome. So going forward, I, I can't assume you'll have any issues. We may or may not be upgrading the axle. I would like to be able to carry a little more weight. The Overland, if uh, any of you get Overland guys out there, uh, guys and gals that are carrying the Overland model, that's actually rated for around 5,200 pounds. So you're getting quite a bit more carrying capacity. And I would personally like that. We're traveling, family of four and a puppy now. Uh, the weight would be nice to have a little more. So, all right, enough about that stuff. Your plans and things to look forward to. Uh, if you noticed my solar video that I did, it was final solar for now. Well, that's changing. So uh, we got rid of the suitcase solar panels. We're going to do something different, looking at going to hard mounts. And we're going to be doing some upgrades. We're going to be doing some different solar. Maybe a front rack system on the Taximantis to utilize that front front space up top and we're looking at maybe expanding and doing a rooftop tent on the back rack so that we can have people come and join us where we are around the country and have a, have a place to sleep without having to bring anything which would be pretty cool so future things to come on with the uh, Taxa and uh, I hope you guys liked it. Uh, like I said last week about the Jeep, if anybody has any questions about the Taximantis, um, what I've done to it, the different modifications, um, sorry, like the like the trailer hitch and the new bike rack, the Yakima rack that we got on there. If anybody has any further questions about that, please uh, comment below. And like always, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. See you guys next week.